we officially have our starting punter for the season and it's the guy we all hoped it would be it's the guy we all expected it to be and after that 82 yard punt in the opening preseason game against the indianapolis colts it was all but inevitable and today it became locked under key punt god matt areza is your new punter number one for the buffalo bills matt areza wins the job over matt hawk and I think that this is something that everybody saw coming. I know it was being touted as more of a punting competition than it seemed to be. You kept hearing, oh, it's a punting competition. These two are battling it out. We'll see what happens. I think it was just a matter of time. You don't often even draft a punter. The fact that you do do that, you bring in a guy who has like Josh Allen type potential, but at the punter position, just an unreal freak of an athlete who can do things with his leg that almost nobody has been able to do before in the punt game. He also can truck stick you on a tackle. And as I'm seeing Colin coming in here and saying, he's the hold guy. That is the one thing that we needed to make sure he was able to do accurately. Can he hold the ball for Tyler Bass appropriately? So that is not something that we have to worry about. Well, up until now, wasn't a problem hasn't been a problem and don't foresee it to be they see they see Matt Areza much more than we do in practice if that was a problem I'm sure we would have heard about it I'm sure that would have factored into this decision it's really not often you wind up going with a rookie punter it truly is not a it's not a common thing it, it was a tough job to win for Matt Areza I understand Matt Hawk you know isn't an all pro hall of fame level punter but you still have to come in and beat a veteran as a rookie. One spot, one spot only. You have to be able to check all the boxes in order to win that job. And hey, he did just that. I love it. You know I was the number one fan the second that ballot was placed in April during the draft. And I'm so stoked to see he won the job. And, you know, it's funny. Usually there's not theatrics surrounding the punting position. But I got a feeling there would have been some real some real sad, sad sentiment online had Matt Hawk wound up winning the job over Matt Areza. He just seems like the perfect Bills Mafia fit. And hey, listen, not for nothing, does it really even matter? I'd rather go with the kid that everybody loves who can boot at 82 yards than Matt Hawk. I mean, you just got a guy that's already a cultural icon in Buffalo, so to speak. They don't even punt to begin with. I mean, I, I don't even know what the over-under would be as far as attempts for the punt god is concerned coming up this season. You're not going to see a whole hell of a lot of them. You're not. You're really not going to see a whole hell of a lot of them. So, congrats to the punt god. Tip of the cap. Best wishes to Matt Hawk. But the punt god is now punter number one in Buffalo.